it came unannounced. The land was overcome by an unknown darkness. The land became twisted and everything came to life to attack humanity. Judging that humanity would be destroyed at this rate, scientists began working on a project to build an ark as a safe haven for humanity. The project was going smoothly, the last remnants of humanity gathered together, and the Ark project was a success. However, they did not realize that the Ark is not a safe haven full of hope, but a cage that would imprison them for eternity. People discovered only one thing. Activate the clock tower and the world will be restored. It was the final message they had left to the world. Hmm. An arc. Workshop. Hmm. Welcome to the Ark. This is heaven where everyone's dreams come true. People live together for a single hope. Yes, this is the world everyone wanted. Come on, tell me. What do you desire? Hmm. The Hedgehog. Doom. Moving right. Lucy. Eh? This way, Lucy. You're always too slow, kid. She's just a child. Don't be too hard on her. We need to go just a little bit further. Do you think we can make it? Yes, no problem. Don't push yourself too hard. You're the treasurer of the investigation team after all. Haha. -ha. Hmm, attract. Maybe turn it down a little bit. Actually, turn it up. I'm not scared as long as everyone's with me. Well, take care of the monsters. Just lead the way for us. Don't worry, we'll protect you with our lives. Let us know if you have any problems. Okay. That's how they jump, huh? Okay. <laughs> Weird. Ooh. Oh, time pass. Hey kid, try eating this. It's freshly cooked. Stay warm, Lucy. Wow, it's so warm. After collecting the last piece, we will head to the clock tower. Our journey's end is not far off. All well, thanks to Lucy. <laughs> hmm, I'll have to give you some credit. Hey kid, you're pretty helpful, you know that? 
Oh, you're just a kid until we get to the clock tower. Everyone, thank you so much. We're almost there. It's time to restore the world. Careful, don't let your guard down until this is over. I only got a little careless. How could it end like this? Joey is no longer moving. I'm afraid this is my end. Lucy, run as far as you can. Leon is no longer moving. Erg! A little bit... If I had done a little bit better, you could have activated the clock tower. Zara is no longer moving. Oh? Oh! How did this happen? Please, everybody, wake up. I don't care what happens to the clock tower anymore. So please! Uh oh. Ah. Don't worry. This is not the end. It's just another beginning. Oh. Because you are the hero of this world. Or the Twisted Land to obtain the Time Shades and activate the Clock Tower. Travel Suitcase. Ice Box. Photo Camera. Bank Castle. Body Tube. Oh, I think it's for the add-ons. Oop. Good morning, are you ready? Let's leave now. Wait a minute. They yeah, notified the investigation team of your presence. Try talking to any investigators you want to recruit to your party. Everyone's fired up for the news of us finding a time shade. Okay. Leslie, are you really sure? About what? Despite what I said yesterday, there's no need for us to hurry. Best to be thoroughly prepared. On that note, how about practicing in the training grounds? Sure. Good choice. Let's go to the training grounds. Welcome to the training grounds, Lucy. I'm your temporary instructor, the one and only Phoenix. I'll teach you everything step by step, so you better be grateful. Now, shall we learn about the basics of combat? Combat works by selecting a skill from your hand and selecting a target. Every skill requires mana to use, and the mana cost of the skill is shown inside the purple gem. This is your maximum mana. You have three mana at the moment. Keep your maximum mana in mind and try attacking the enemy. Okay. Ooh. Highest hit. Let's go from the hand of cast. Okay. Whack, whack, whack. Good job. Used skills will be discarded and added to the discard pile. Since there are no more skills to play, you should pass the turn by clicking end turn. Skills. At the start of turn, you draw two skills and regain all your mana. When there are no more skills in your deck, the discard pile is shuffled and added back to your deck. If an ally is hurt, you should try using the basic keel to heal your ally. Hold on. Is there a sound option here? Because the music is pretty... Up there.
Eh. Nah, I'll leave the vocals in. Alright. That should be better. Um, this, that. Oh. Your ally is healed up, and you have some remaining mana, but there are no more attack skills you can play. I guess taking another healing skill would be pretty useless here. In these situations, you should use the exchange feature. This lets you discard a skill from the hand and draw a skill from the deck. Oh. I put a draw skill at the top of your deck. Try exchanging the basic keel and then use draw. And right now... That? Oh, okay. Draw! I looked at the cost of the first basic attack. Weird, right? Why does this basic attack cost two when the other ones cost one? That's because of overload. For every stack of overload on an ally, their skill costs are increased by one for that turn. Hmm. The basic keel that you used overloaded your ally, which caused their skill to cost to increase. I added a bunch of skills to your hands, so try casting them with overload in mind. Right? Okay. Wow. Uh, combo. Whack. Heal. Try that. Alright, allies gain overload by casting skills, and overload causes their skill costs to increase. Simple enough, right? Overload stacks whenever you play a skill, and all overload is removed at the start of the next turn. Keep that in mind. Oh, won't you run out of mana too quickly? Don't worry, there are some skills that don't cause overload. Oh? The Majestic Phoenix has gifted you a two mana and a couple skills. Notice how these skills have blue gems instead of purple gems? These skills have a priority called Swiftness. Oh. Skills with Swiftness do not overload characters no matter how much you use them. Oh? By using them yourself. Some of these skills have special effects, so try reading them carefully. Okay. Well, those are all free. Any action. Try that. Back. Back. Oh. Include swiftness. Ah, okay, so swiftness. Reduces it by one, huh? 21. This one. Good job, isn't it fun to spam skills without worrying about overload? Besides swiftness, there are many other keywords that offer unique effects, so please make sure to check them out. Not what happens if you're out of skills in your hand. In that case, you can try using a fixed ability. If you look at the bottom of the screen, there should be hexagon-shaped skill icons next to the ally's portraits. This is called a fixed ability. Oh? I've added a skill to your hand. Increased morale is a once skill that can only be used once per battle at cost zero. Try using increased morale. Okay. Now look at the fixed ability at the bottom. It's the same skill, but it costs one more, right? Try using increased morale on the fixed ability slot. Link. Most skills can be registered as a fixed ability, which lets you use them at any time. However, their cost is increased by one, and only one fixed ability can be used per turn. If you want to have a skill available at all times, it's a good idea to register it as a fixed ability. Now that's out of the way, try passing the turn. Ooh. Whack. Whack. And can't do anything else. So turn. I'm sure you have a grasp on how to use your skills by now. Then it's review time. 
Change the deck and add out a couple skills to your hand. Exchange Overload Swiftness Fixed Ability. Apply the knowledge we've learned so far and deal as much damage as possible. Okay. Engine Burner, what? I can only use three. Hmm. Well, help? Okay. Uh. Oop. Oop. Oh, more mana, huh? anything because those cost points. Whack. Shift. Beep. There's morale. Ooh, nice. See, 18 damage, 7 damage. I think this lights people on fire. Yeah. That one. Nice. And turn. Oh. Be defeated first. Uh oh, perfect. As I say, a great teacher makes a great student. Don't you think? There should be no issues with attacking, but the problem is defending. The enemies won't just stand still and take your hits. On that note, I'll teach you how to minimize damage from enemy attacks. Next mechanic I'll introduce is action count. Hmm, how do I explain this? Well, seeing is believing. Try playing some skills and pay attention to the action count. Okay. Um. Action count. I missed where that lands, but okay. Mm, what is this? Damage 2. Success. Be damage per turn. Yeah, I don't think it matters. So, that. Ooh. Oh, the enemy moved even though you didn't end your turn. Well, that's obvious. As I said, the enemies won't just stand still and take your hits. Most enemies will try to attack you in the middle of your turn. It's important to check the enemies to see when they will attack. Oh, I see. Okay, right here. Action counts decrease by one whenever you play a skill and enemies act when their action count reaches zero. When you end your turn, all enemies with remaining action counts will attack. You remember that swiftness keyword from earlier? Not only does swiftness prevent overload, it also prevents enemy action counts from going down. Try it out for yourself. I've given you an AoE heal skill, as well as an accelerate skill, so try healing your damaged party members. Oh. Uh, heals everybody, so there we go. You see that? After using a swiftness skill, the enemy action count didn't change, right? I'm sure you understand how action works by now. Let's move to the next turn. And he whacks. Ooh. That was a heavy hit. Take a look at your ally's health bar. It turned green by the amount of HP that was lost. Yep. It's called healing gauge. Oh. Try using this heal skill on any party member. Ouch. Oh, who's the low lowest? That one. And it's strike. Ooh. Characters will faint if they receive damage at death's door. Recover from death's door by healing. Okay. Now let's look at the health bars again. You can see that the healing gauges are somewhat gone. Oh, just the party health a bit, so try healing again. Okay. Lift this. Loop. There we go. Get him in the register. Get 
party member with healing gauge received the full effect of the heal, while the party member with no healing gauge recovered only a bit of health. Now why having healing gauge is like being wounded. If you treat the wound before it becomes serious, you can make a full recovery. However, if you get wounded again in the same spot, it would be difficult to heal, right? It's a good idea to heal your allies quickly so they don't lose healing gauge. Also, remaining healing gauge is filled up when the battle ends, so quickly ending the fight is another way to conserve health. Now, on to the next step. Try pressing the end turn button. Hmm. Oh, okay. Hey, uh, where are you going? Don't run away. I promised we were almost done. I'm going to teach you about pain damage. Pain damage is damage that cannot cut your healing gauge. Oh. Given a pain debuff to a party member, read the description of the debuff and try casting a skill. Okay. Use 5 damage to be cast one of your skills. Ah. Ouch. Boom. Do you see what I mean? The healing gauge didn't disappear af even after taking damage. Most pain damage is caused by these pain debuffs, and there are many debuffs to, to watch out for besides this broken debuff. You can discern the type of debuff by the color of the icon, and there are some debuffs that can instantly wipe your party if you don't pay attention. So if you ever get a debuff, stay calm and read the description. Now then, shall we go to the final turn? Press the end turn button. Alright, time for the final stretch. This time I'll teach you about Standby. Standby is a feature that lets you reduce the enemy's actions count without having to play a skill. Oh. You can see how the enemy's action counts as one, right? By clicking on the hourglass icon on the at the top left. Ooh. Did you see that? By using Standby, you reduced everyone's action count by one, and this caused the enemy's action count to hit zero. This may seem like a useless mechanic, but there are many applications. For example, you can create opportunities to heal in between enemy attacks. There will be situations where standby will come in handy, so make sure to remember it. Alright, that's it for the basics. Master Phoenix has nothing left to teach. There will be countless obstacles and strategies waiting for you in the Twisted Land. If it's you, I'm sure you can overcome any challenge with a calm mind. The most important thing is to never give up, no matter how bad the circumstances. Don't panic and apply what you've learned to lead yourself to victory. Hmm. Oh. There are crew two people. Familiar? Extra credits, boss patterns. Oh. Eh, do normal first. Now oh, there's challenge mode too. This. Choose a mode. In the beginning. He's hope level. And eh, normal for now. I'll see that choose different get on skins. Ah. Okay, so we get some lock people. We got some lock people to choose from. In Okay, so this is like a replay type of game. Okay, so let's see. Attack, support, attack. I only do two. Alright. 
right, so fine. Oh, you get to hover over their skills too, huh? Alright. The scroll does not. Ayn is a warrior who harbors immense hatred towards the Church of Pharaohs. He is difficult to control due to his madness, but he has great potential. Ayn has high maximum health and exceeds against hordes of enemies. Okay. Joey is a genius chemist who previously worked at the research lab to create specialized equipment. Frustrated by the lack of progress, Joey decided to participate in the investigation of the Twisted Land. You can help allies or harass enemies with various buffs and debuffs. Hmm. This chain loves destroying, burning, and cutting open anything in sight. She volunteered to join the investigation team to play around at the Twisted Land. What can she accomplish with her homemade flaming chainsaw? Ooh. This chain has great sustainability due to her passive and can set up advantageous situations for her teammates. Azar is always composed and reacts skillfully to any situation which makes him a great leader. The investigation team expects nothing less of him. He is an attacker who can combo his skills in various ways by repeatedly attacking enemies with his illusion swords. Oh, that sounds good. Pressel. Pressel has strong faith as a priestess, and so she joined the investigation team to help purify the Twisted Land. She brings stability to the team with strong healing and support skills. Mm, sounds okay. Ironheart is the leader of a private mercenary unit that lends manpower in exchange for gold. They are not on anyone's side, but are currently hired by the investigation team to find and rebuild the Time Shade. Ironheart can protect all allies and serves as a durable shield for your party. Ironheart can also utilize ally healing abilities to deal heavy damage to enemies. What? Use healing to damage enemies? Hmm. Okay, so his is over barrier. All allies gain barrier a 66 excess healing. Oh, I see. Oh, wait. Yeah, interesting. Let's see. The start of each turn during the skill draw phase, replace one draw with the below effect. Random skills from the deck, select one to draw. Oh. Three, three random, level four, four random. I think we saw burn already. Gains burn. This chain gains burn when she casts a skill or fixed ability. Path gauge is protected during burn. Ooh. Okay. Illusion sword. Start each turn. Topmost skill in hand receives an illusion sword buff. If you play or discard a skill with illusion sword buff, create a zero cost illusion sword to attack skill in hand. Hmm. Under potion, receive a random potion when you level up. I don't know about that one. Whenever Hind defeats an enemy with a skill, cast it again with half damage to another enemy. Hmm. Oh, and these are the, uh, specials, I think? Or no, passives. Well... It sounds like the tank, attack, support. Oh. Probably in a tag, even though the chainsaw sounds good. Gift items. Oh. Illustration. Think of that one. And probably the healer. A cell. This one's more useful for that. Oh? Like the skill you want to use for the. Oh, because I have the DLC. I believe. Accelerate. Which we used before. Snap. Remove overload from all party members. If you have... If you had zero mana in one cast, restore two mana. Oh. Let's reduce the cost or restore. Yeah, I'll stick to vanilla. Or no, this is our character, dang it. Oh well. Hmm? 
Hej.